FMG and medicine from the last five years, what was asked in FMG examinations and what will be asked in future examinations, that is FMG Blitz 2026. And we will be just going through the questions which will be asked over there and let's go straight away without wasting further time. So as far as the FMG medicine is concerned, what were the important topics which were there on the examiner's mind? So first of all, electrolytes and electrolyte imbalances, potassium, sodium, and many other electrolytes which are there, but predominantly potassium. FMG 2025, a question was asked on low potassium levels, hypokalemia. What can hypokalemia produce and what are the features of hypokalemia? And it is the U waves and premature ventricular and atrial contractions which occur. And this was a question asked in FMG 2025. Now, we will not leave it there because what we can expect in FMG 2026, that is hyperkalemia. That is why I have jolted down hyperkalemia in here and the most important questions which can be asked over there. Then going from there, what was asked from the uh, a pulmonology aspect and pulmonology aspect, pneumoconiosis. And it is a very important topic and many questions have been asked. As we can go down, you can see that silicosis I have put on top of agenda because it has not been asked, but you expect questions from silicosis because asbestosis was asked in FMG 2025. And it was that, what was the question asked? Asbestosis bodies and ferruginous bodies and the association of lung and colonic cancers as well as laryngeal cancers were seen in association with. As you can see, I have written all the points which have been asked. The asbestos bodies, the ferruginous bodies, the laryngeal and colonic cancers are associated with the asbestosis and the mesotheliomas as well, plural mesotheliomas. That's very, very important. So I have given additional points in favor of asbestosis, which might be asked as, as, as well. So that's it. Acute pericarditis. And pericarditis, this is a very important question which is expected ahead and going to the nervous system. A very important question which was asked was the Gullen-Barre syndrome as a result of which the weakness occurs, an ascending type of weakness, motor paralysis, areflexia, and no sensory loss. These were some of the features which were asked from this question. So you have to remember Gullen-Barre syndrome and that's very, very important. Then another question which has been asked in the last years, Wagner's granulomatosis asked in FMG 2021, asked in FMG 2021 with these two lines from the same question. Now, congestive heart failure, which is again an important question, sarcoidosis. Sarcoidosis is a very, very important question in medicine and it was asked in FMG 2021. In erythema nodosum is associated with beach conscience and also it was just mentioned in the question associated with uveitis. So I have given the clinical features uveitis and association with the erythema nodosum and many other things which can be there, the cranial neuropathies and all those things. Now, as far as the questions asked in medicine that asked frequently, polymyocytes and dermatomyocytes were the two clinical conditions which have been repeated many a times. These are high yield questions and I have put it in there. So that is the connective tissue disorders. And as you can see, the butterfly or the malar rash, which were asked in FMG 2022, and the classical features, the pathological features that the scarring is absent in telegenetic may also develop. So telegenetic lesions are seen in this clinical condition as well. In addition to Wagner's granulomatosis, we have another clinical condition called as good posture syndrome, which was asked in FMG 2021. Okay, so that's it. Then going to the another group of conditions, which are the connective tissue disorders, FMG 2025. As you can see, FMG 2025, the features of arachnodactyly, tall stature, and high arched palate. These were the three features asked in FMG 2025, 2025, 2025. In action, the chromosome which was uh, involved is the 15Q21. So that is where in the Marfan's syndrome's pathology starts. So these are FMG 2025 and it is well established over there. Now, as far as 
another questions are concerned. We have got the cerebellum, and from the cerebellum, we expect certain questions. Aspirin was asked in uh, as an anti-inflammatory drug in rheumatic heart disease as well as its feature, and the features of the rheumatic uh, heart disease, as your bodies, maculum, patch, and mar edema, marginatum. Very important pathological features which are there to be asked. And then going to the cardiology, again, different types of pulses, water hammer pulse, aortic regurgitation, Austin FMG 2025. Why murmur is the gram steel murmur? It is an early diastolic murmur of pulmonary regurgitation. This was also Austin FMG 2025. So I've tabulated these things very systematically. What is Stock Adams syndrome and what is pulmonary edema? Acute pulmonary embolism, a lot many questions we get in the form of clinical scenarios and you can see what is the gold standard, angiography is the gold standard and some other features which I have mentioned over here, primary angioplasty as well. The drug adenosine frequently asked as a result of paroxysmus uh, which PSVT can be treated and that's very important. Then we have got the clinical conditions like cardioembolic stroke, core pulmonary, plural effusion which have been asked over there and features of effusion, transdigitative, exudative effusion. HbA1c, it has been asked frequently. As you can see, the effusions have been asked in FMG2021 and FMG2021 again. So amiodarone, a very important drug. G6PD deficiency has been asked from the hematological perspective, what uh, triad it follows, X-linked recessive. You have to remember that it has been asked. So then cystic fibrosis, another condition which has been asked again. And we, I have given a whole list of the things. The pneumonia by Klebsla, very important. The pneumonia, the features of the, the current jelly, the bulging fissure sign, which I have put up in my text over here. So you cannot afford to miss these questions. Very, very important. Bronchial cases, and uh, they may be given a clinical scenario of differentiating bronchial asthma, bronchial cases, tuberculosis, and what are the inflammatory changes, which I have listed in the table over here. Addison's disease, FMG2021 asked, and its features are, are over here. And it was also asked in FMG2025, what are the features of cortisol deficiency and other things uh, associated? Now, Levy bodies, dementia, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, you can see amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, has been asked and these three lines are from FMG2025 which are very very important so you have to remember Parkinson's disease you have to remember Frederick's ataxia you have to remember Alzheimer's dementia you have to remember Levy body disorders they are very very important questions that you cannot afford that's this why this FMG blitz just revises you all the high year facts and we have given it names as well dates as well what date what question has been asked what date what line has been asked as I was mentioning Alzheimer's dementia FMG2023, FMG2022, tau proteins, and all those things. Now, uh, in addition to that, Huntington's disease, that's again, I mean to say, it is a disease which is as a result of trinucleotide repeat pattern and more many features. What trial does it form? Austin FMG2021, expected ahead as well. Now, uh, pituitary hyper, hyperfunction, hyperpituitism, hypopituitism, what are the features? And I've seen Parkinson's disease, I was mentioning it, it is given here, and the dates are also given. Hepatites, very important, and how many questions you have given the, uh, I mean to say, the clinical scenario with the antibody titers, and you have to uh, di uh, diagnose whether it's acute hepatites, whether it's chronic hepatites. So this is some of the things which have been asked. I mean to say that these are some of the th important things which have been repeated in medicine in the last few years. So my emphasis would be just to concentrate on these topics. These are examiner's favorites and the lines over here, they are very important. We expect a big chunk of questions from these topics and I wish you best of luck in your examinations, but you cannot afford to miss these topics. So that's very important. Thanks a lot.